Yo, what's good guys and welcome back to another video, this time a lot different as you can see. Actually in an, like a spin-off game, which is based off of an anime I watched like a few months ago. It was an amazing anime game, came out all, also like already a few weeks ago. But I never really cared about it, but now I was like, alright, let's, let's just give it a try. So yeah, here we are in the mission selecting act, uh, section, whatever you want to call it. We're just gonna hop into a match, let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, let me pull up the translator and see what, what's written there. Uh, characters, where is game stuff, or in-game, like mission. Uh, I was forced into this, guys. I have a gun to my head. Six and a half hours late. Uh, oh yeah, I'm about to beat up some robots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't that an amazing experience? Okay, let, let us um, overreact now. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Momo delivers a fatal. <laughs> she gets a punch. Okay. <laughs> Momo, Momo delivers a fatal kunai. I know this from Naruto. Oh, oh, and. Yes! Yuki has shot at. Never mind. That's not Yuki, is it? That is Yuki. Yeah, right? that's not Yuki. <laughs> I don't. Who's the pink haired girl, by the way? I don't even. She, I know her, but I don't remember her name. The pink. The... Dude, pink girls aren't shit. That's Momochi. No, that's not Momo. The, the, maybe it's like purplish hair. I don't know. Purple? You know the... You know Mei, right? Oh, you mean, you mean Fu. Huh? You mean Fu. Ah, Fu. Okay. That's... That's my... Uh... A print... A print... It's only... Hey, do you want good prices every day? Do you want to shop great stuff for little money? Yes? Then we have the perfect shop for you. Everyday low price. Your favorite shop in Japan with probably the most Japanese name you can think of? No matter what you want to get, at everyday low price, you will be guaranteed to get it for the best price. So don't hesitate any longer and visit your everyday low price shop right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, right now, right now. Every little price takes no responsibility for being attacked by guards. Any from the shop. All right, so we just completed something. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what. I have no clue. Wait, what did I just do? Uh, sounds spicy. All right, but jokes aside, what do I really think about this game? Well, as a fan of the Release the Spice anime franchise, I might not be the most unbiased person to ask. But then again, this is not one of the kind of games I usually play, so that might balance things out a bit. First of all, it should be obvious that you need to have watched at least the release of Spice and maybe also the Yuki Yuna as the hero anime to effectively play this game, as every character in this anime is based off of characters that are mentioned in those two animes. The second anime, Yukiun as a hero, might be important to play this game as there is currently, at the point I'm making this video, a crossover between those two animes. However, by the time you are watching this video, this might be already over. So it's not an actual point anymore for you. But if you're watching this video shortly after I made it, it might still be a valid point. So. Playing this game without having those two enemies watch just doesn't make sense. Alright, so let's start off with the good things about this game, which are certainly the UI and especially the love that had been implemented into this game. You can clearly see the developers spent a lot of time developing this game to just make it polished and look great. The voice actors are included into this game very well at many different parts, the music is which is perfect because it's not the same music as in the anime, but it is similar, like you can definitely hear the similarities. So it's not a completely different music and at the same time it fits the game very well. Like I said, the uh, UI is, is well polished and just looks really great. Um, it's just a pleasure to navigate yourself through the game and see all those little details. It's really a pleasure to go through first time you, you play this game, you'll be very satisfied. This attention to detail continues throughout the game, 
as the characters of the game have multiple conversations with each other at different parts during the game where you either need some kind of translator or guide if you don't speak Japanese yourself. But I definitely recommend going through them as they are just very enjoyable to read and give you some additional storyline. So now onto the fights in this game, which is what this game is actually about. Uh, interestingly enough, even though the fights are like the main aspect or the main point of this game, at the same time I think they are also the least satisfying factor of the game, as the fights in my opinion just aren't very... They're, just, they're not bad, but they're just not especially interesting to me or especially outstanding in any kind of way. Though that might be because I haven't, I just have progressed far in the game. What you see me playing there is basically my first time playing it. But then again, the first impression you get of a game is very deciding whether you stick with a game or you don't. The way the fights work, it doesn't change throughout the game, It's it stays the same. So you really gotta know yourself whether you like it or you don't. To me personally, it just isn't really satisfying and just... It's just not as satisfying as the rest of the game, which is unfortunate. But if you like it, it's great, because then you will like the rest of the game even more. Though so we all know the main problem of the fights in this game. And it's my constantly getting attacked. Like I'm not even kidding. Every fucking time. Is she like the punching bag of the game or something? So now the main question. Am I going to stick with this game or no? And I feel like I actually am. Mainly because there is a great community around this entire anime and also this game. It's a single player game. I'm usually not the guy for single player games. I prefer PvP by a lot. But this is still a game you can play on a session. You can just open up, go into a quick match with and move on basically. So it's a great game for lunch break or something. Also because it won't just eat up your phone's battery within seconds. <laughs> so yeah, if, if you're open for something like that and you're into this anime especially, sure, go ahead, switch your episode to Japanese and get it. If you're more into in-depth stuff, maybe also PvP, like I usually am, not too much into playing games on Accession, this might not be for you. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Uh, it was something completely different, game-wise. <laughs> Not sure if I'm going to make another video about this. I mean, it's like I said, it's single-player. Uh, you've seen it once, and that's pretty much how the entire game works. So yeah, there's not going, there's not going to be too much change uh, in that. I, at least I assume so. Like I don't know if the fights get somehow different if you reach like higher levels or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I mean the way how the fights work is going to stay the same, so I'm not sure if, if it would actually make sense to like make another video about this. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought about this, if you got the game, if you're looking forward to get it. Shoutouts go to Tuyakami and Inosuka28 from Discord and Twitter who helped translating this game. Or not translating the game itself, but making guides for it. Which, so I could also be able to like actually know what was going on in the conversations. So definitely shout out to that. I will link their tour profile in the description if you're interested in that. And also the release the Spice community server as it will help you out if you're looking forward to get the game. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>